Have you ever wondered what happens to astronauts whenever the International Space Station performs an orbital reboost? During the maneuver, it seems like the astronauts inside the station are moving backward, but actually they just keep flying at the same speed as they previously were. It is in fact the ISS that gets a boost and moves around them, and if they don't hold on to something, they will end up colliding or pushing against something, similar to when you get pushed against the seat of your car while speeding up. Although the acceleration experienced in the ISS is a little bit less aggressive. In fact, this footage has been sped up eight times. But why does the ISS need reboosts? This is because even though the ISS flies around Earth at around 400 kilometers in altitude, there are still some molecules that linger in the uppermost parts of the atmosphere, and these molecules generate a minuscule amount of drag on the space station, at least compared to the amount of drag you would typically encounter in the thicker parts of the atmosphere. However, this small amount of drag is still enough to make the station lose about 100 meters or 328 feet of altitude per day. 